I am in Salt Lake City, Utah today. It's bringing back a lot of memories for me. Those of you who watched my Tulsa video know that I was born there. And I lived there till um, I was 12 years old. And then that summer we moved here to Salt Lake City. And uh, I lived here, went to high school, college at Utah State. And when I was 23, about 10 or 11 years later, yeah, I lived here for 11 years. I moved to Dallas. Now that was, uh, geez, late 80s, 87, 88. And that was the last time I've been here. Packed all, uh, all my stuff in my car, had no job, drove to Dallas on a whim <laughs> and stayed there the next 30 plus years. So this is my first time back to Salt Lake City since 87, 88. It's changed quite a bit. A lot more buildings downtown. It's still one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. Uh, Salt Lake City's tucked up against the uh, Wasatch Mountain Front. Can't really see it very well. When you saw the video coming in and the drone shot, you got a better idea. But today we're getting snow. I don't know if you can see the mountains there in the backdrop or not. Um, it's 22 degrees out here. So it's uh, Utah in the winter. <laughs> but it's so beautiful. I didn't really appreciate it that much when I was a kid, but now here as an adult. It really uh, takes the breath away. So this is State Street. This is the main drag of Salt Lake City. Um, if you go straight up the street this direction, you'll hit the Capitol building where it begins. And the street goes 30, 40 miles this way to the end of the valley. And the entire city radiates from the right and the left, or the east and the west, off the street. God, it's been so long since I've been here. When I was a high schooler, we would drag the street, yeah. That's what we called it. Let's go drag uh, State Street. So we would drive up and down the street in our cars, and there was a McDonald's way down there that we would stop in the parking lot but as a high schooler, yeah, you'd get your girl. Of course, we all mostly had trucks. And we drove up and down the street. Not a care in the world then. Keep in mind, this is uh, 80, 81, 79 even. Man. Those, are so, those were some good times. I want to head up this way, deeper into downtown, to see some of the sites, including the uh, epicenter of the Mormon church, the temple, that is right up this way. For the most part, downtown Salt Lake City is clean and beautiful, but there are some spots where the counterculture has uh, made their mark. A little bit of trash here. Huge mural on this. I can't get through here because of this gate, but uh, you can see what looks like uh, what restaurant booths just sitting out there. But for the most part, this city is clean, organized. I've yet to see a single boarded up dilapidated building anywhere. It's 
supposed to snow all day. But you can barely make out the capital at the very top here. Let me zoom in, see if we can see it. Yeah, there it is. So there's the state capitol building. The wife and I will be going there later. But right here is the LDS building. This was here when I lived here. What? 30 something years ago. It was the tallest building then. It's been passed up. But this is the place where the uh, church leaders run the religion. All the decisions are made there. Across the street from me is Brigham Young's house. Right here in the shadow of their office building. A controversial figure for sure. He led the Mormons here to the uh, Salt Lake Valley. And so they stopped here and founded the city. This was his residence. This is the administration building for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, so there's that. The church is uh, controversial for sure. It's got a bizarre history. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. Joseph Smith found golden plates <clears throat> upstate New York, if I remember. Translated them into the Book of Mormon. Of course, there are no golden plates to actually see to validate that. But um, the religion was founded on that, and it's become quite big. Now, for me, as a person who is not Mormon, who lived here, people would ask me what it was like, because I was definitely in the minority. Back then, I would say the Mormon religion was about 80% of the population. But my answer is they were always very nice to me. They are uh, really nice people. And... Um, you know, they take care of their own. They have all kinds of um, things in place for people who uh, fall on hard times. They really take care of their, uh, the people in their church. This is a Joseph Smith Memorial Building. Yeah, it is a beautiful building, isn't it? There's another crane. So that uh, this crane is actually um, right above the temple, the Mormon temple. This is the main building for the church. But it's got scaffolding all around it. So apparently it is, it is getting a refurbish. I was hoping to uh, get a, a shot of the uh, Angel Moroni. You can't see it. It looked, man, I don't even think it's up there. But atop one of these uh, higher spots, they have a gold statue of the Angel Moroni with a, with a horn in his hand, a trumpet. And according to the religion, at the beginning of Ar Armageddon, he will blow that trumpet, signaling, well, let me back up a little bit. He will come to life, blow that trumpet, and that will signal the begin, the beginning of the end of times. Can't really see it though. It kind of sucks. I want to get video of it for you guys. Welcome. Please do not smoke, bicycle, skateboard, roller skate, or ride scooters on church property. Owned by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. All right. I'm behind some guys who are working on that building. Probably just had lunch, it's about noon. But I'm gonna try to get a little closer. The picture of the temple when it was about to be finished long ago, with Salt Lake City in the background and the mountains. And this guy right here is standing on the spot where the angel Moroni normally is. But it doesn't look like he's up there now. Okay, I'm right up on the renovation. I mean, they are digging way into the ground. They're refurbishing it from the ground up, it looks like. This 
see some of the uh, surrounding area. Uh, let's see if I can get it up there. Can only imagine what it must look like inside, huh? Uh, a non-believer uh, like myself would never get to go in there, but I've heard stories. And I've heard that it was incredible. You can see the capital, the top of the, uh, the rotunda, right in the middle of the frame. The LDS building. They're really digging a whole uh, deep hole here. Hmm. Something else is going in there. Wow. All right, well, I'm gonna head down Main Street, which is this way. The other half of downtown Salt Lake City. All right, this is Main Street. One block off uh, State Street. Get you a little look of where I'm at before I head down it. I want you to feel like you've been to downtown Salt Lake City yourself when I'm done here. That's the idea. So I'm gonna walk down uh, Main Street, which is also part of the heart of downtown Salt Lake City. One of the first things you see at the top of the street here is the ZCMI building. One of the first buildings built here in Salt Lake. It was a department store. It's a Macy's now. Built in uh, 1868. It is a gorgeous building. I remember marveling at it 40 years ago when I was here 30 years ago as a kid. kind of quiet here on Main Street. It is a Wednesday afternoon. Hardly any traffic here. It's just the snow falling. This is the Deseret Bank building. One of the first tall buildings in the city. It was built by the Mormon Church. It was their bank. And yeah, I said late to 1800s, right? It's when they really started to uh, expand the church. Yeah, the snow softly falling down. Another look at that Deseret Bank building. See all the trees down here. You could imagine it is probably really beautiful when the trees are have their leaves. this old building. Really narrow. Beer Hive Pub is here on the bottom floor. A play on the words Beehive because if you didn't know it, Utah is the Beehive State. That is really beautiful. Some of the 
older buildings of Salt Lake City here too. Yeah, look at these beautiful old buildings. They were built around 1900. And of course, we've got the newer buildings right next to it. I was here in the city. I'm at the, um, the Galavan Center. As you may or may not remember, the uh, Olympics, the Winter Olympics, were held in Salt Lake City in 2002. This is a remnant of that. Yeah, there it is. Salt Lake 2002, I don't know if you can read that. A street sidewalk cleaner. That's what Portland needs. <laughs> Sorry, Portland, but geez. Somebody climbed atop this clearly very old building and uh, had some fun with the uh, spray paint cans. Very old part of the city here. Of course, the tallest building in the city is right here. I'm standing directly below it. So again, a nice mix of old and new. Man, I was just standing here and look at all these birds. I guess they think I have food. I mean, look, they're like a foot away from me. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't have any food, guys. Wow. The reason I came here is this is the first empty building that I've seen that's boarded up. You can tell it's very old. It's a damn shame. Looks like a place where birds live now. Look at them. But yeah, it's all boarded up. Huh. Hate to see that. But it's the only one I've seen here in Salt Lake City in the downtown. Have a look up street here. All right. Well, I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm going to head back to the hotel. The wife is ready, so we're going to go to the Capitol building. See what the great state of Utah is all about. All right, we are driving towards the state capital of Utah. Look at some of the beautiful houses. Turn right. That are uh, right by it. North. Okay, sir. All right, we're gonna turn right here. I'm at the state capitol building of Utah. It's really grand looking. I'm on the steps. This is the front of the building, but you don't go in this way. You go in from the side. But definitely wanted to get a view from up here. You can see Salt Lake City laid out. Of course, the downtown in the immediate site. It's a brisk, snowy day here in Salt Lake City. Quite beautiful though. Anyway, the entrance is to the side here. The wife's already went in because uh, she just can't handle the cold. So I'm gonna go meet her inside. All right, I'm inside the Capitol building now. Gotta find the wife. Like Boise, I didn't have to go through security. Things are a lot different out here in West. We're in the Capitol and she's getting her book stamped. How many Capitol? I want to say this is 14 or 15th. All right. There it is, the stamp for Utah. Voila. Thank you very much. <laughs> so there it is, another capital stamp. So we're at the uh, Liberty Bell 
that they have at the Utah Capitol. My understanding is this one has a crack. A crack, like well, yeah, there it is. Yeah, I was reading that, and actually the one in Philadelphia, I've always noticed it has like it has like a little thing here and a little thing here where they kind of soldered it, I guess, right yeah. as it cracked. This one, yeah, it's like a little ball of looks like they soldered it here and here. And so this, this one says it was like the exact specifications. So this is the only state that has the Liberty Bell that has the actual crack in it. So, the only that one. we've seen so far. That we've seen so far. That we've seen so far, I think. Okay, we are walking up on the main floor. It's looking pretty grand. A lot of people here. Wow. Yeah. This is a, huma a huge area. There's a lot of people here. It's a really grand area. Huh. They're actually in session. I can see a bunch of people up there in the Senate. Oh. That's why we're seeing so many people here. People are actually working here. All right, well, you can't be in Utah, in the capital, and not have a statue of Brigham Young. Here he is, born in 1801 in Vermont. He joined, joined the Mormon religion in the 1830s and led the large group of Mormons who came out west discovered Salt Lake Valley. This was 1847. And he was also the first governor of Utah. Yes. Oh, no, I, I trust mm. me. This is a picture of uh, the internment camp in Topaz, Utah, after World War, it was World War II, right? During World War II, yes. During World War II, after the Japanese attacked Japanese people who lived in America were interned and sent here. And they've got a lot of stories on the wall here yeah, there several different areas that were taken of the people who lived through it. Here's a copy of the Salt Lake Herald Republican, 1912. A picture of the soon to be Capitol building, but I had to read this article. He wrote, Messenger slays two bandits. Robbery of robbery of train in Texas is prevented by a young man who kills one robber with a blow and shoots second. Highwaymen not known. <laughs> San Antonio, Texas. Those are the stories that you read about in 1912. This is the uh, elevator here. Really old school. Huh? Oh, there it goes. Look at that. That is total old school elevator. <laughs> That's cool. So here is a 45 star US flag from 1896, right after Utah became a state. All right, we're leaving the capital now. Learned Freezer. a thing a lot about Utah. Freezer. Freezer. Became a state in 1896 after the Mormons renounced plural map. 1895? after they renounced plural marriage. Snow is falling. Yeah, another shot of the city there. You can barely see it. There's very little visibility. You can't even see the mountains that ring the city. It kind of sucks. Anyway, that's it for our visit here. We're gonna head back to the hotel. Okay, our time in Salt Lake City, Utah is done. Time to review the hotel. We stayed at a Hampton Inn right here in the downtown area of the city. What'd you think? I liked it a lot. Um, you know, the biggest reason is because I like the gym. It had extra things in it and it had all the weights and it had the good elliptical. So I really, really, the gym was really good. Um, the pool and the hot tub are nice big sizes mm -hmm. too. Got a heated and, pool, mm -hmm. indoor. And the room, I like the room. 
you know, nice and clean, nice and modern, you know, you can tell it's a newer, so. Yeah, yeah, it's a good hotel, uh, close to downtown, walkable distance. Um, heated pool, hot tub, okay breakfast, wasn't great, but it was okay. They had some fresh made eggs and potatoes. Uh, decent Wi-Fi, clean room, yeah. Pretty much checked all the boxes. Mm -hmm. So what do you, what do you rate it, hon? 4.4. Yeah, I'm going to do 4.42. All right, so uh, we are headed out of here back to Dallas for a few days, and then we will be back on the road to St. Louis, Missouri. So be looking for that.